All right, guys. It's me again. I'm back for another week. I know I was supposed to record this video last week, but I spent the last week working on this intro. Let's see how this goes. Roll the intro. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's it. Let me know in the comments what you thought of that. I know last week we had a comment. One of the reasons I, uh, I took so long recording this video as well, I wanted to put together some of the reasons why I switched to Sony. The, um, I was an avid cannon shooter. All right, guys, I was a battery diet, you know? That's my luck, right? That's what you get for starting to record the vlog with 14% battery. Um, so I wanted to go over like the top five reasons why I switched to Sony. Um, one, Sony was a consumer electronics company, right? Watched them when they bought Minolta, and they constantly uh, iterated on their designs. Uh, some steps were evolutionary, but some were revolutionary. They were at the forefront of the mirrorless revolution. They, um, they had compelling full-frame offerings, and the lenses that I needed were available. Um, one of the things that uh, Canon products were doing at the time, they were they were pretty much refining what was already an established market. So um, coming from the 5D Mark II, there was a compelling reason to upgrade to the 5D Mark III. At the time, the 5D Mark IV was out, and again, I didn't feel like I'd be losing a lot outside of uh, low light performance. I'm sorry, I didn't feel like I'd be gaining a lot outside of low light performance in switching to the 5D Mark IV. Um, when I looked at the things that, that Sony was offering in their mirrorless, they had, uh, they had things like uh, eye autofocus, being able to send uh, pictures as they're, as they're snapped to your cell phone for posting behind the scenes to social media. Not that that makes you a better photographer, but if one manufacturer has, has these features and another doesn't, then, then even if you don't plan to use it, you know, um, it's nice to see them exploring, exploring the space, you know, having the, having the electronic viewfinder, um, being able to properly uh, see your exposure before you click the shutter. So, so those things really kind of, kind of really pushed me towards, towards the change. I upgraded from the 5D Mark II to the A7R III. Um, I'd be lying if I, if I didn't say having more megapixels wasn't alluring. Do you need more megapixels? No, but it does allow you to uh, recompose after, after the image has been shot to a certain extent, you know? Um, as, a, as, a, as a learning photographer, you look at uh, a lot of my earlier work and uh, being able to throw away half of the pixels and still end up with a 20 megapixel image, um, that's a comfort, you know? Um, it's hard it's hard to it's hard to say that I'm gonna perfectly frame every shot in camera. Um, sometimes my horizons are off and, and, and nothing loses megapixels quicker than than adjusting uh, horizons in post. So those those things were really were really alluring in uh, in in the Sony in, in upgrading. One of the other things is I didn't have a tremendous investment in Canon, but I did have some lenses. Obviously, uh, dollar for dollar, Sony lenses are more expensive. Let me, let me, <clears throat> I wanna say this to everybody. Sony lenses are expensive. So if you're coming from Canon, there are a lot of adapters that allow you to use your current EF lenses on the, on the Sony FE mount. So not having a tremendous financial hurdle as I transitioned, that also was alluring. That, that almost uh, single-handedly eliminated uh, switching to Micro Four Thirds, uh, the compelling Fuji offerings or the, or the Nikon offerings. Um, 
Let me know if I might have missed anything, any of the reasons that you felt compelled to switch from whatever brand you were shooting to Sony. I'm looking to upgrade to the A7R4, um, same thing, more megapixels, right? If you're watching this video, that means you've probably watched a couple other videos where they talk about the Sony A7R3. And you know the number one complaint of the Sony A7R3 was, I wish it had more megapixels. That's why I'm upgrading to the A7R4, right? No, um, really one of the reasons I'm, the, the biggest reason I'm upgrading from the A7R3 to the A7R4 is um, the exposure compensation lock. Um, I, I'm not unhappy with the size of the body, you know, hey, the grip's a little bit bigger. All the reviews say that, uh, you know, having the bigger buttons and, and, and ergonomically it's a little bit better. I won't turn down an upgrade no matter, you know, how trivial it might seem. The exposure compensation lock is high on my list of reasons to upgrade today, 7R Mark IV. If you have any questions about my transition to Sony, hit me up down below. I'll read, reply to all the comments, um, and I might even make a video on, on, you know, whatever the whatever questions seem to come up the most. Oh, oh, oh before I before I go, one of the other questions I was asked is, hey, what gear are you using? Okay, be happy to show you. Roll the B roll. Also, this is my first official, first official episode, episode one, season one of the of the vlog. I'm working on coming up with a title. If you guys can think of a better title, title than absolutely nothing that I have right now, throw that in the comments as well. And and don't be surprised if I rename the vlog to whatever you guys suggest. Oh, and before I go, I want to give a shout out to Fedora Nation. Find the right gear that works for you. Don't give up your dreams, and never harass your models.